turn this into this. I will teach you some secrets to adding texture and depth to your acrylic pores along with a sprinkle of magic. I'm going to teach you how I embellished this acrylic pouring flower I made in one of my previous videos which you can find in the description box below. Let's get started. I'm using an acrylic gel medium and some vivid intense colors from Color Art in ultramarine blue and Hansa yellow light and a blingit powder in gold diamond also from Color Art. I mixed a little bit of gel medium with each of the paints and powder and I set them aside. I added a coat of spray varnish on my painting to seal the paint before adding any embellishments on top of it. Then I let it dry. I'm going to use Poshka pens and micro pearls from EnchantingFineArt.com along with some glue to glue the micro pearls. The edges of this flower were not very defined so I decided to add some definition by drawing a white line with some jagged edges. Then I went in with a yellow Poshka pen and added more definition inside and if you screw up you can clean it off with a wet rag so don't worry about making small mistakes, you can always clean it up. Let's add some texture by adding some glitter and micro pearls. This is Pirate's Gold Glam Powder and Micro Pearls from EnchantingFineArt.com. I added some glue and placed some of those micro pearls on top and then I sprinkled a little bit of glitter. Let's add even more texture and dimension by adding some dots 
using the mixtures of gel medium and paint I mixed previously. First, I was using a pipette, but that was not working as I expected, so I just used a dotting tool that I purchased at Dollar Tree. So I found this at Dollar Tree, you know, for just a dollar and 25 cents, but you can pretty much find it on Amazon or any craft store, and it shouldn't be that expensive. I added small and big dots, and then I let them dry. Now I could have just left my flower as you see it here, it would still be beautiful, but I decided to give it a little bit more dimension and a little bit of sparkle. So what I did was I mixed some UV resin with some rainbow glam powder from EnchantingFineArt.com and I added this mixture over the petals. You could also mix UV resin with a tiny bit of abalone shell bling it powder from Color Art and I think it would work just as well. Once I added the resin to all the petals, I added some UV light to cure it. And at first I decided to leave the middle of the flower without resin. But as you'll see later in this video, I ended up filling it in with resin. Now let's have a moment of reflection. In the vast canvas of life, we often find ourselves feeling plain and overlooked, as if our worth is diminished. But let me share a profound thought. Just like this flower, our lives may begin with beauty, yet lacking texture and dimension. We hold the power to bloom and radiate extraordinary brilliance. By adding the brushstrokes of passion, purpose, and determination, we can transform the ordinary into the extraordinary. As we embellish this flower with exquisite details, let us adorn our lives with love, growth, and adventure. Embrace the opportunity to bring forth your unique colors, for within you lies the capacity to create a masterpiece. It's time to paint your own path adding dimension, splendor to every step, and watch as the canvas of your life transforms into a breathtaking work of art. Look at that sparkle. It's like a flower picked from a magical forest. If you're new to my channel, I hope you come back and also check out my website, loveacrylicpainting.com for lots of helpful free resources and courses to help you in your fluid art journey. My name is Loida and thank you for being here today.